Hey guys, welcome to Wild One Apps, and today we got our hands on an Amazon Echo Dot. So it's a bit like Siri, for example, for Apple, where you can talk to the device and it will give you information back and blah blah blah. You can see what it says in the box here already, it's still sealed. It says, you know, play my music, set the light, set the set my alarm. That's wake me at 6 a.m. Dim the light so it can integrate with smart home features for example we've got Philips Hue here as well so we're gonna give that a shot later on just like the Google Assistant from Google the Siri from Siri from Apple Amazon have got their own thing called Alexa their own digital assistant called Alexa and the echo on the echo dot which this is the echo dot um, are a way of you know you set it up in your room and you can just say Alexa what is the time? What is the weather like? Blah blah blah. Create me, order me pizza. Yeah, you can do that. You can actually order pizza from Pizza Hut. Um, you can use Just Eat. You can say, you know, reorder my Just Eat order. Blah blah blah. Anyway, so this is it. I ordered it. It cost me fifty quid. Um, I think they're on. They're actually ten pound cheaper now for Christmas. Um, this is the smaller version of the original Echo, which is a much higher. Um, a much taller cylindrical device with a big speaker built in whereas this has no speaker so let's have a look at the box anyway and then we'll get down to the nitty gritty of it so you can see how it looks uh, made by Amazon far field voice communication or voice control so it can it's got a lot of microphones built in so it can pick up your voice from quite far so let's get this wrapper off so we can read the box properly <clears throat> okay so like I said, 50 quid from Amazon, or in our, uh, when I checked again a few days later, it was at 40, 40 quid, so it's £10 less, made by Amazon, blah, blah, blah. Um, if we have a look at the back, designed around your voice, Echo Dot connects to Alexa, which is a cloud-based voice service similar to Google's um, Google Assistant. It's like an AI or an you know, artificial intelligence which can try and respond to your voice commands. Um, add voice control to your speakers blah 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 so there's lots of interesting stuff that this thing can do and uh, at the rate it's going there's they're adding so many so many more different functions and merging with different technologies and you know shopping online buying your pizzas voice control your smartphone your smart home so that's something i'll be testing at some point because i have the Nest thermostats, as you've seen in my previous video, I also have Philips Hue running, um, so I should be able to say, you know, Alexa, turn the lights on. Um, Alexa, put my lights at fifty percent, so they dim to fifty percent, or maybe Alexa, turn the lights red or blue, blah blah blah. So I should be able to do that, and I'll try and demo that at some point um, later on in the video once Alexa's up and running. And you can even see here, look. Uh, explore skills including Amazon Music, Spotify. So you can say, Alexa, use um, Alexa with Spotify. Please play the following track or my following playlist. Blah blah blah. Um, sports, Sky Sports integration. So you can say, Alexa, what can you give me an update on my team? And you have to set in the app. You set up your team. So it says Manchester United or Liverpool or Arsenal or Chelsea. It will give you the latest score or the latest update around that. You got Just Eat integration, which means you can say, Alexa, please reorder the last order I made from the Chinese, blah, 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 and it will reorder for you. It's pretty sick. Uh, Philips Hue, which I mentioned. Hive, which is British Gas's remote control thermostatic system, similar to Nest. Guardian, I haven't got a clue. Probably reads news articles from Guardian, I'm guessing. But it's pretty sick. This is the second gen, um, and I think it's time to stop talking and just open this bad boy up. So like I said, this is 50 quid. The the full the full uh, Amazon Echo, remember this is the Echo Dot, the full version is about 140 quid or something like that. So it's nearly three times the amount of what this is. Am I opening this up correctly? Okay, so you can see it's kind of stacked in a very intelligent way. So let's have a look. How do we get this open? Do we just slide things out? So we've got the actual base unit. So let's slide that out first. So this is the Alexa base unit, um, and so far I actually kind of like it. You can get it in different colors. You can get it in white. Um, so it's got lots of microphones built in around, so it can detect your voice from any angle. Um, it it doesn't have a built-in speaker, which is what the full Amazon Echo has. This is the Echo Dot, so there's no speaker. Um, 
as yet, but I'll explain how, how you, wh I'll explain what to do with that in a minute. So the echo dot manual, getting started, how to get it started, plug the power, blah, blah, simple stuff, simple basic stuff, okay? Download the app, connect it to Alexa, connect your speaker, so I'll explain that in a minute. So we've got some cables, standard USB to mini USB, most phones use this anyway, this just to power this thing. Um, and I can see there's a plug or a power adapter, a UK 3-pin spec. There you go. With Amazon's logo on it. Of course. Okay, so let's get back to the base, the main thing. So this, the Amazon Echo Dot. Now, like I said, it's got microphones putting all around, so it's always listening. You can say mute mics or stop listening to me. Um, voice, it's probably for volume. I'm not sure what this button does, to be honest. Uh, but like I said... The Amazon Echo, the full version of the Amazon Echo, or the Amazon Echo as it's called, has a, is actually quite a tall cylindrical base, um, uh, and it has a quite a big speaker built in, so you can play music directly from that speaker, and you can hear Alexa respond to your voice commands from that speaker. But this little bad boy has no speaker, so it's got a mic, but you can what you can do is you can plug it in directly to a speaker. So here, if we look, let's take this off. So if we look here. What we can what we can do is we can plug the power in on this side, so that's the power for the US using the mini USB, and on this side we have a headphone socket, so you can actually plug this into your speaker, uh, so when Alexa responds you will hear it via your speakers and your TV or whatever. The other thing Alexa can do or this Amazon Echo Dot can do I should say. Um, is you can connect it to Bluetooth speakers, so you don't have to use a physical cable to connect. You can connect it to a Bluetooth speaker. So I bought like a seven quid Bluetooth speaker, simple, simple device, nothing complicated. Um, it runs on a USB power, it runs on USB power as well, which is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to use that to connect um, the Echo Dot, so I can hear what Alexa is saying to me when when I was when I ask for a, when I make a command and she responds. You know, like what's the weather? Is it going to rain? You know. What's the traffic light? You can do all that stuff. But once you have once you have your Echo device, um, like the Dot or the Amazon Echo, um, you can configure it and initialize it on the uh, Amazon Alexa app. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. If I've got it, here it is. Come on, you can do it. There we go, taking his time. Um, the other thing to note is that Alexa is now available for um, the Amazon Fire tablets, so all the current generation, so the fifth generation tablets, the Amazon Fire tablet, which is the most basic one, and then the Fire HD and the blah. I don't know what they all are, but anyway, so here you can see um, it's the home screen. So here you can, for example, add smart home so you can make it search for your Philips Hue. Um, device and all that kind of stuff and you can connect up I'm gonna run through that a bit later on in another video because it's, it's just too much for one um, but here you can see that it says look I've got my Alexa devices um, the Amazon the the Echo Dot which is what you see here um, I've got a fire tablet uh, which is upstairs um, which has now been updated to support Alexa so you can actually talk to the tablet but obviously the tablets um, it hasn't got it probably only got one mic built in. This thing is designed to listen to you from across the room. That's why it says far field voice control. So um, I'm going to set this up at some point today, um, but I'll probably do that in another video. Like I said, I want to run it against Philips Hue um, and the Nest thermostats. Like you know, Alexa, turn the temperature down by two degrees for upstairs, and it should control the Nest thermostat and drop the temperature by two degrees. So. Stuff like that. It's quite interesting, actually. Um, I was definitely going to be waiting for um, the Google Home uh, voice control system, but there's no actual no sign of it coming to the UK as of yet. Um, and everything I've read about Amazon's Echo and Amazon Echo Dot and Alexa has been really, really good. They've got lots and lots of support for lots of devices, and there's loads and loads more stuff coming on it, which is awesome, awesome. And you can actually see, you see, there's a it's actually a light running around the edge. So when when I'm, when the echo is listening to you, this lights up. So you know that it's listening. It's pretty cool. So I'm eager to test it out. Um, please like and sub the channel. And I will 
uh, come back with some more detailed configuration of this and running against the Philips Hue light system and stuff like that. If you have any special requests on things for me to try, you just hit me up and I'll give it a shot. Um, like I said, I do have the Nest thermostats running in the house and I've also got the uh, Philips Hue um, lighting system which is pretty sick. So I'm going to give those a shot first. But if there's anything else you want me to try, give me a shout. Uh, Amazon, retweet this video man. Retweet it um, and uh, help me get some views. Peace out. Please sub the channel. Please like. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.